Hi, everyone. I'm Rena Nine, and thank you for joining us. We've been listening to Governor John Bell Edwards give a press conference in Louisiana. We are also keeping an eye on the markets. Uh, Wall Street down about 430 points right now. To discuss where the financial markets are going, I want to bring in Melissa Armo, who is the CEO and founder of Stock Swoosh. You know, Melissa, we've been looking and seeing, given the history of where this virus is headed, what can we expect? We know March will be one of the worst trading months in history. What do we expect heading into April? I really think that this could, I think that there's another sell off, and I think we're going to start out this week, this month in April selling off. I think this is going to be a rocky start till eight, to April, to be honest with you. And I and I don't say that to scare anyone. I say that because I look at the technical side of it, and I also look at the fundamental side of it, and because there's no vaccine yet in place to solve really this crisis, people are continuing to dump stocks and people are scared. And obviously, people are also having problems with their employment. A lot of people are laid off right now. So I think we're going to start out April bearish, first week, first two weeks. Whether we turn around or not by the end of the month, earnings season begins towards the end of April. Big companies report Apple, Google. That may help the market. But right now, I think we're going to start out April very bearish. I know a lot of people are interested in those earnings calls and what might be reported by some of those big companies. People are also really worried about their 401 savings plan, their 401k savings plans. Is there anything they can do to temper their anxiety? I think you have to look at your situation. Do you need that money that you have in your retirement right now in 2020? And obviously, that time horizon varies from person to person depending on your age. If you're nearing retirement or if you're currently in retirement, but if you've got 5, 10, 15 years off from retirement or more, then I say stay the course and let this ride out. The market, I believe, will at some point come back. So the positive takeaway from this is that there's going to be huge opportunity to buy back into stocks and the market at much lower prices than we're at right now at some point in the future. Once the momentum comes back into the upside, once this problem is resolved, eventually we are going to find a vaccine. Companies out there, Johnson & Johnson was working on one right now. That stock had a pop yesterday. But right now, there isn't one. People are not working. They're scared to go out. People are dying. This is very, very serious. So it's becoming an economic problem, but really it's a health problem now, now that it's becoming an economic problem. So the bright side is that the future we can reinvest into stocks in the market at lower prices and get a nice rally. But right now, if you need the money for 2020, if you're in retirement, you've got some hard choices to make because you may want to take some of your profits off. Melissa, you know, the unemployment rate is poised to skyrocket as a result of this pandemic. How at all do you think this might affect the markets going forward? Well, that's what I'm saying. This week is a big week for the market because we have the unemployment data coming out at the end of the week. Uh, claims on Thursday and then the new unemployment rate on Friday. Last week, we saw a huge number, which was expected. 3.3 million claims have been put in, but I don't think that's going to be all the claims. I think that number could possibly be more than anticipated going forward. I don't think everyone filed for unemployment last week that's going to. And so you also have now the extension of the stay-at-home order to the end of April. So companies are laying off more people. You saw Macy's Bloomingdale's came out. They're furloughing 130,000 employees. That stock is down. It's worth $5 and some change a share. Kohl's is doing a similar thing. Bloomingdale's, again, which is owned by Macy's. So you have a lot of these retailers that are being hit hard, and they have no choice but to lay off their employees. So all of those people are going to be filing for unemployment. So that is, again, why I think we're going to have a very rocky start to April. Many people are speculating when this is all over, this is going to be what they call a V-shaped recovery, meaning the economy is going to rebound. You've been saying this in our chat today. I know no one has a crystal ball, but what's your sense of the economic future? I know it's going to be hard for so many people in the coming months, but as we go further beyond the summer, what do you see as the economic future at this moment? I have to disagree with what a lot of people are saying about the V-shaped recovery. In December of 2018, we had that big sell-off, and then we had it was like this. That's what it looked like. We had this hard sell-off and the big bounce back. That's what a V-shaped recovery looks like. For people that are chartists, you can go look at that. What we've done already isn't that. We sold off in the month of March, but we didn't make a deep enough V. 
So we came down, but the V isn't deep enough. In other words, it would have been healthier for that type of look to the market if we had had a bigger sell-off into last week and then had the bounce back. Now we're having a baby bounce back and the sell-off wasn't enough. So I think we're going to be staying in this traction area for quite some time, jostling around, selling off, coming up, selling off, coming up, but not going back up to the highs, not having any follow through to the upside. So I disagree that there will be a V-shaped recovery at this point, maybe six months from now, maybe 2021. I really think that we are in this pattern that is going to stick for quite some time. It's going to go deep into 2020. It's going to affect the economy. There's no way that it cannot. Businesses are already changing their outlooks for growth for 2020. When businesses aren't making the sales, when people aren't making enough money, they're not going to go out and spend. So again, you're going to have people not spending money and then companies not making as much money. So then where's the earnings growth going to come from? How's the market going to rally? Melissa Armo, I want to thank you very much for joining us. Thanks.